Welcome back, Oil Filter Dude here. Today we're going to see if the cheapest oil filter at a brick and mortar store is worth it, or should you be buying the OEM AC Delco for your Chevrolet. All these filters will fit the 3.6, 5.3, 6 liter, and 6.2 liter engines from General Motors from about 2014 and up. The MicroGuard and STP were $599. MicroGuard is from O'Reilly. STP is from AutoZone. SuperTech and Fram both came from Walmart. The SuperTech was $348. The Fram was $648. Interesting is the SuperTech is a shorter version of the filter, which could be actually a PF48. There are interchangeable. PF48 and PF63 in GM World are interchangeable. Then I have an AC Delco, the OEM filter for all these engines. We'll just compare it to. I've already done a cut down of one of those filters, but I'll sacrifice another. I got a few of them later on from when I was at a dealership. I'm going to get you mounted up on a tripod. We'll get cutting these open and check them out. Little side note, the MicroGuard filter is the only one that looks different from all the others. The SuperTech, Fram, STP, and AC Delco on the outside all look the same. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. And we're going to try just on one take. If a car goes by, we're just going to have to live with it. It's kind of warm here. Got to leave the garage door open. I live right by a somewhat busy road. Start off with the Super Tech. As you can see right here. It says Main America. With 75% or more components. Let's keep an eye on how that looks. Remember how that looks. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. The other thing is, is we have a white, yellow, and green marking on the O-ring. That's stamping right there. Super tech. There's the filter number. And so right away, flip it open. Drain back valve. You got your filter with glued end caps and a plastic cage on the inside. I don't know if you can really see that or not. There's a pretty stiff spring down there for a bypass valve. And you got the big fancy stamp metal spacer. So, that is a Super Tech for $3.48. Next is the STP. It was $5.99 at AutoZone. And again, none of these places knew I was doing this. I just walked into my an oil filter for a 2015 Chevy Silverado with 5.3. I know for working GM World that these are also fit the 3.6s. They also fit the 4.8s. What do we have there? Looks just like that Super Tech, don't it? Green, yellow, and white marking on the ring. And it's the same style font.
So, pull it open here. Train back valve. Feels just like that one. The cartridge. Glued end caps. Plastic inner structure. And a drain back valve with a spacer. Or not drain back valve, oil bypass spring. And it feels just about the same as the Super Tech. Next up is the Fram. This was purchased at Walmart for $6.48. Starting to see a pattern here, aren't we? White, yellow, green. Put down in the comments below if you think this frame's going to have a glued end cap like the other two I have so far look just like this. Try to get that to focus and zoom. There we go. Same type of font, same type of stamping. In terms of you got this fancy little grip here, which don't matter to me because I don't use a wrench that uses that. So, And it didn't make a difference on gripping it to cut them open either. Oh, well, we got the same thing here. Feels just like the other two, it's just a different color. Paper and caps. And the cage inside is plastic. And we got the same style oil bypass spring valve. And feels just like the other two. We're going to O'Reilly's. This one was $6.99. Or $5.99, I'm sorry. Delta is noticeably heavier than all the others so far. Up here on top, it says leak tested with a date. A lot fewer holes, that's for sure. I don't know if that's going to restrict air oil flow going in or not. lot thicker casing on this one. Feels like all the others, but it looks noticeably smaller, but it's because the holes are more inward and less of them. Here's the filter cartridge. Steel caps. I like this because it's sealed down here. It's forcing the oil through, in my opinion. The others, well, you've seen they had a hole in the bottom. There we can see a steel structure on the inside. And a spring to make up the bottom. Yeah, 
Here is the oil bypass spring in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it down there in the very bottom. A little black thing down there. Let me go grab a screwdriver so I can push on it and see how it feels. And I'm back. Came on my overpriced snap on screwdrivers when I was a tech. No sponsor, of course. And all right, going this way then. There. Well, wow, that is stiff. That is stiffer than all the others. So <clears throat> that is that. But let's compare all these to the OEM. Let's compare them all what General Motors says you should be running on that vehicle. And see what this thing looks like. Real quick though. Looks just like the SuperTech, Fram, and STP. Even painted with the three colors on the O-ring the same. And there we can finally read the markings. Even printed the same. go feels just like the others that actually came out with it surprising there see plastic cage on the inside of the filter but steel end cap I prefer the steel end caps over the glued stuff And here we have the oil bypass spring valve. It looks just like all the others. I'm going to count the pleats real quick and I'll be right back. All right, I just got done counting all the pleats. And there's a few other things while going through, so I'll mention it when I get done telling you how many pleats each have. SuperTech had 63. MicroGuard had 54. The uh, EC Delco had 65, Fram had 62, as well as STP had 62. One thing I noticed, and I hope it comes up here on camera, is the thickness of the pleats. As you see, that one's glued. This one is also glued. As you can see right there. That one's got a metal strip to crimp it together. And that one's glued as well. What I'm noticing about the pleats is the micro guard seems to have a thicker pleat when I went around. Now the way it comes, I take an ink pen and I mark each pleat. And the micro guard was noticeably stiffer than all the others. Another thing I like is this one is sealed all the way around. It's all glued down here on the bottom. And it's sealed, forcing the oil to go through the filter and back out to the engine. Well, as all these others, you are relying on this fit right here to prevent oil from going by this fit right here. Look how loose that is. That literally fell right off. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm going to have a problem running a micro guard. I'm currently running the AC Delco, another version, on my car right now. So I drive a Ford. I'll probably be changing that filter up here next to a little change, which is tomorrow. So I got to buy a filter. 
Well, this is what I got for you. So next video is going to be comparing these two filters. And can you guess what they have in common? See you in the next one.